The Ultra Mark II self-flying cargo drone is taking to the skies to deliver humanitarian aid in Central Africa. The daily job for ISF is uh, going where the others cannot go anymore for the normal airlines, uh, the regular airlines, sorry. And, um, and that's why we want to use the, the drone because the, the, the access of the population and the risk of the head worker is increasing every day. And uh, like you have some example in Mali, in, uh, in Burkina Faso or in Niger, or 10 years ago, we can access with the aircraft. No, at the moment, we use a helicopter for that. Not only myself, but other NGO use helicopters, but they keep the engine open. Uh, they have a landing for five minutes on ground and they need to go back because the, the, the security is not, uh, is not, is not uh, controlled, is not safe. The conspicuous VTEL is one of the additions from the previous model, the Windracers Ultra. This one has more power, capacity and speed and flies a distance of up to a thousand kilometers and has a capacity of up to 150 kilograms of payload. It has the ability to fly for nine hours non-stop and can land on almost any terrain. Yeah, so the Mark II is the culmination really of the past five, six years of endeavor and experience of real life customers in environments all over the world. So far, the aircraft is being used in Ukraine, the United Kingdoms, and the United States. A vision without borders hopes to reduce the cost of delivering humanitarian aid to remote areas. The drone's ability have also been tried and tested on complex environmental projects, including a 2024 climate change study by the British Antarctic Survey. Wanja Mungai, CGTN.